I'm Will Fulton, and welcome to Ride With Me. The show where we talk to people we love. <laughs> I had a meeting, so I was like, I gotta go. About the places they love. Do you think Guillermo would shop at Sunday's Best? Absolutely, Guillermo would definitely shop at Sunday's Best. Today, we're catching up with actor Harvey Guillen from the hit FX series, What We Do in the Shadows. Woo! We're gonna get his recommendations for LA's Echo Park. Man, this is great. And of course, I'll be heading there myself to check them out. So come along and ride with me. Hey Harvey, how's it going today? How are you? Good. <laughs> How are you? I am doing well. Uh, what did you have for breakfast today? Um, I just skipped breakfast this morning, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. All right, so where are you taking us today? So Echo Park is one of my favorite neighborhoods to hang out. I was actually baptized there. It has so much culture. It has so much history. Being an Angelino born and raised myself, it just makes me feel good just to walk around the neighborhood and know it has such rich history. And a lot of people don't know that it's there. But if you know that it's there and you discover it, it's a real gem. I almost don't want to tell everyone how great it is because then it'll just get full. <laughs> The view from Echo Park is so wonderful. You've seen it in every film. You've always seen like the lake and you see the swan boats and then the background is downtown LA. And most people don't even know that that's there. They're like, where is that shot? You're doing great. Keep on pedaling even though it's tough. Well, I can't wait for you to show us around. Where is the first stop we want to go because um, I'm pretty hungry. Hmm, if we wanted to go get something really yummy and delicious, we have great options. You can go to Los Burritos. I love the vintage, like, orange and black sign. And it's the original sign, like, from 1962 or something. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how's it going? I love soft shell tacos, but they make a really good hard shell chicken taco, which is really good with salsa verde. You got to try that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't break. Look at that. You have a choice of red or green. I go with the green, always. That's a big debate, right? The red or green salsa. Yeah, it's a huge debate, and I think that the green wins, so I don't think this is a debate. <laughs> <laughs> I know in Los Angeles there are just a ton of great Mexican restaurants. Why is Los Burritos your number one pick? You don't see a lot of hard shell taco places just because authentically it's done with a soft shell, a flour, or a corn tortilla, but I do like a crunch. <laughs> For me, it's a combination of both. It's like been like traditional and Americanized, which is kind of like me, you know, it's like, oh, I'm Mexican American. So I've always been like on the threshold with one foot in the American culture and one foot with the Mexican culture. So I like when they both kind of combine together. You like this place? It's great, right? Me? Yeah. Yeah. I do, huh? We all been hanging out here since we were little kids. They would hook it up. <laughs> they still do. Can't you tell? <laughs> you want a little crunch and you want a little bit different, I would say Los Burritos. All right, Harvey, so what is the next stop? I think we want to stop by a little shopping, walk off some of the food. So let's head over to Sunday's Best. Sunday's Best is a great vintage shop that's owned by my wonderful friend, Denise, and her partner, Adriana. The best part of the shop is it's named after Sunday the cat. So Sunday the cat lives at Sunday's Best. So you actually can meet Sunday if Sunday allows you to meet them. Hi. I'm in your store. Just Sunday will be your stylist, and if you pick something and they don't like it, they'll they'll give you an, a look. Let's try and close together. What do you think, Sunday? <laughs> yeah, I know. What was the best find that you've ever picked up at Sunday's Best? I think the best thing I found was actually like this Dior cardigan from like 1960s that you're just like, whoa, this is like, you know, classic tour. <laughs> It's a big Latinx community that lives in Echo Park, and so it's become a staple to those families who um, kind of uh, depend on it to clothe their whole family for the year. So speaking of clothes, your character Guillermo, from what we do in the shadows, is kind of a low-key fashion icon. Do you think Guillermo would shop at Sunday's Best if he was in LA? Absolutely, Guillermo would definitely shop at Sunday's Best. Weirdly enough, when I auditioned for the show, I went to Sunday's Best to pick out something to kind of help me land the role because I was trying to envision what this character would look like. Eventually, I did put pieces together that ended up being the, the platelet or the palette for Guillermo. I remember Taika was in the trailer after I booked it and was like, what you went for the audition? And I was like, oh, I wore this sweater vest with a long orange like sleeve shirt and uh, these glasses that I popped out, these Harry Potter glasses. Like, yeah, we'll do that. And I was like, 
Oh. <laughs> wow, thank you so much. Okay, where are we going to next? Yum yum, coming up next is sticky rice. It's a quick place to go and get like, you know, uh, food and a drink. They have great cocktails. It's it's just delicious and wonderful. And now they open the back into like an open air bar. Awesome, what should we be getting there? What's your favorite thing? Ooh, that's tough because that always changes. I mean, you can't go wrong with any of their curries, which is delicious. And their spring rolls are amazing. I also like their tom yum soup. On a cold day, that's like the perfect thing to like, you know, uh, have for dinner. Yeah. Cheers to Harvey. Harvey. Do you have an appetizer that you love at Sticky Rice that you'll make everyone else pay for just because you like it so much? <laughs> they do have this like tamarind, like beef strips, but also like for dessert, a great go-to is the, the mango and sticky rice, which is a classic, which I really love. So uh, that one's a great uh, way to finish everything. It's a nice like button piece. Man, this is great. Okay, so what is our next stop? Next up, we have the Swan Boats. Hi. It's just so classic just to get on the lake and like pedal with the swan, giant swan boat, and then look at downtown. Heading right for the waterfall. Wait, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's like bumper cars. <laughs> Any road rage out there on the lake with the swan boats? No, I don't think that any of the boats are, unless you're pedaling to the, you know, putting metal to the, or uh, yeah, metal to the pedal. <laughs> <laughs> pedal to the pedal. Uh, pedal to the metal, you're not going that fast, I think, at the swan boats because they're, they're pretty heavy and it takes a lot of um, energy to kind of move them along. It's just like, by the time you're done, it's kind of like you got to work out. Uh, <laughs> this is so hard. So I don't think anyone's getting into accidents and exchanging uh, insurance info on the lake. <laughs> Yeah, and you know what? I was even thinking that would be a great like first date activity, but now how you describe it, like yeah, maybe not, maybe not, maybe like second or third, where like you know you're okay with sweating in front of the person. Thank you. They look kind of scary. I don't like that look in their eyes. Woo! All right, so I think I need a little hit of caffeine. Yes, one of my real, 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 real favorites, Tierra Mía. They have this Mexican hot chocolate frappe, so it's cold, it's not uh, hot anymore, but I grew up drinking Abuelita hot chocolate and they have it there as a frappe and it's so good. Also the horchata one is to die for, they're really great. So it's really nostalgic and I don't really drink a lot of coffee, so if I'm gonna drink something, it's really nice to have that like nostalgia that I have like growing up and drinking like Abuelita hot chocolate made into a really cool frosty ice drink because it's always warm in LA. It has a really great actual booth by the window, and I always like when it's available because it has, uh, you can do great people watching there, you know? Or you bring your laptop and I'll do some writing and I'll sit there. Everyone who goes and tries the frappe for the first time literally becomes hooked. They're like, oh my gosh, what is this? People who would have never thought to like stop by and try that. It's always a first, someone's first experience when I take them there, and it's always a pleasant one. Hi, I just wanted this too, please. Thank you. All right, where are we headed to now? Coming up, the Black Cat. Black Cat's a great you know, spot historically. It was the first place that actually had LGBTQIA riots, but it wasn't really publicized. So it was actually before um, Stonewall. And so it actually is a historical landmark in Los Angeles. And so going there, you can go get a good drink. They have great you know, tapas, they have great food. Just being in that room is just so invigorating just to know what has gone down and the people who've, uh, who've gone through those doors and have paved the way for, for people like me, you know, and other uh, queer activists and queer actors. And so I'm just uh, happy that the, the Black Cat is still there and you can visit it. It's such a landmark and get a great cocktail, you know? When you're at the Black Cat, what's your go-to order? What's your go-to cocktail? Uh, for the Black Cat, it's a Moscow Mule. Uh, they serve it in the traditional uh, cups that they do, uh, the copper cups, which I love. So it's always good, it's always wonderful, and it's always refreshing. So you know, we've been talking about cats kind of a lot. It's come up a few times. I have some insider information that you might have an upcoming role in an animated feature 
featuring a famous cat. <laughs> yeah, so I'll be joining a very famous cat in boots. You might call him a puss in boots, and I'm really excited to be joining uh, that cast of already uh, existing amazing talent with Salma Hayek and Antonio Banderas, so I'm really excited. I want to ask you, if you could describe Echo Park in one sentence, you're saying a postcard from Echo Park and it's right on the front, what would you say? Hmm, this is a good one. Yeah, I would say, welcome to Echo Park. You didn't know it was this good, did you? <laughs> <laughs> That's my motto as well, personally. <laughs> Do they have names? Uh, no, this is okay. a naming fee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hope I'm not all muddy. <laughs>